Hey Wampers, today we are going to show you how you can create some 3D elements in Womp for your own graphic design posters. First, we can draw out our very own text to reference within Womp. When we are in the scene, we can get out a reference at the bottom left by clicking Upload Image and selecting our data. The reference will appear at the bottom left as this small image, however we can scale it bigger, so we just scale it completely to the right and also to the top to stretch it all across our, our screen. At the bottom we can then play around with the opacity, I usually keep it fairly low so we can still see the outlines but also clearly our 3D. We can then lock it up so it will always be on top. And with the view cube at the top right, we can click on one of the sides to keep our perspective aligned for this creation. At the top, we can then grab a curve primitive, which we will use to draw out the letters. I usually always delete the second curve point, and we grab our first point. You might need to zoom out, and I moved up in the scene a little bit so we don't hit the ground um, with our outlines here. And then you can scale the curve using those buttons. When you hold down Alt, you can scale equally from all sides, so it's always centered. And then we draw out the curve points by duplicating them with Ctrl D or holding down Alt while dragging them out there. So I'm making as many curve points as I feel like it need to be. I just lay them out roughly and then you can still go in into the individual curve points and change them a little bit to fit your silhouette here. So for example, it's going out of the outline a little bit here, so I'm scaling it a bit smaller and just adjusting those curve points that I've laid down basically. Um, with the first curve here, I just made the first um, stripe of the H and to make the second one, I am then basically copying this curve and deleting all the points apart from one and just go for the next one. Um, this is sufficient because it will keep the position and also the material if you have equipped one. Uh, it's just faster for the workflow instead of getting out another one. Then we basically do the same thing again for the bridge in the middle. And like that, we can easily form those letters in the style that we would like to. Um, when we then have our curves all ready, we can select them all and um, bring them inside of a union. This is now basically one shape that we can manipulate all together or move as well if we want. I just named this H and then for the next letter we want to do the same thing. We want to go in and grab one of those curves and just bring it outside of the union or the area. Here I also quickly want to show you density which is basically out of how many shapes the curve is formed and group strength which decides how much the letters or the shapes blend with each other basically. Have in mind that goop and negative only affect all shapes that are above it in the scene list. Now, so we start the next one as well. It's just the same thing basically. We bring it over and start them here. Here I just quickly want to note, sometimes when you copy a curve point and it's too close to the first one, it might not appear. Don't worry though, if you make the third curve point, it will appear as well. So just keep going with the flow of your curve and yeah. For the letter D then, or some other ones, I'm not even bothering like copying the curve and starting a new one. I'm just really going with the flow and go from start to end with one curve. When we're then finished, it might look something like this. And we can then also equip a material to it. For that, we select the whole area or just all letters that we've made and then click on the material section at the top bar. Here we have a bunch of different categories to choose from. With Pro we have hundreds of materials that you can choose from. Let's choose this aluminium material and then we can also still make changes to it like maybe change the roughness a little bit. With the Pro features you can also add things like the metallic rainbow effect which looks really cool. Maybe we add a subtle amount of that to it. We can then also change the environment lighting, which changes how the reflection looks. We can rotate it or make it brighter. And when we're fully happy, we go on export at the top right, download image, and here we can choose our settings, for example, a full HD or 4K render. And we can also untick background, and that allows us to have a PNG with only our letters. We then click on export image and you can see your download at the top right. 
Usually it just takes a few seconds or maybe a minute max to download depending on how complex your scene is as well. We can for example also use our reference and just roughly place our 3D elements already where we want them to be and see how it looks. Here for example we added a simple graphic element with those bubbles. They're basically just spheres scooping together and having the soap bubble material applied to it. We can then bring our 3D elements into Photoshop or any other program of your choice that allows you to create posters. We do recommend rendering out every 3D element you create by themselves so you can have them on separate layers, which makes the placement a little bit easier. Here at WOMP we are a big fan of seeing our 3D mixed with other mediums like 2D or photography, so we hope this inspired you to create something for yourself. Feel free to share your creations with us and with that thank you so much for watching, we will see you in the next video.